Absorption is the transfer of a drug from the site of administration to the bloodstream via one of several mechanisms. The rate and efficiency of absorption depend on both factors in the environment where the drug is absorbed and the drug's chemical properties and the route of administration. For IV delivery, absorption is complete. That is, the total dose of drug administered reaches the systemic circulation, 100% bioavailability. Drug delivery by other routes may result in only partial absorption and thus lower bioavailability. Mechanisms of absorption of drugs from the GI tract Depending on their chemical properties, drugs may be absorbed from the GI tract by passive diffusion, facilitated diffusion, active transport, or endocytosis. Passive diffusion The driving force for passive absorption of a drug is the concentration gradient across a membrane separating two body compartments. In other words, the drug moves from a region of high concentration to one of lower concentration. Passive diffusion does not involve a carrier, is not saturable, and shows a low structural specificity. The vast majority of drugs gain access to the body by this mechanism. Water-soluble drugs penetrate the cell membrane through aqueous channels or pores, whereas lipid-soluble drugs readily move across most biologic membranes due to their solubility in the membrane lipid pilars. Facilitated diffusion Other agents can enter the cell through specialized transmembrane carrier proteins that facilitate the passage of large molecules. These carrier proteins undergo conformational changes along the passage of drugs or endogenous molecules into the interior of cells and moving them from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. This process is known as facilitated diffusion. It does not require energy, can be saturated, and may be inhibited by compounds that compete for the carrier. Active transport This mode of drug entry also involves specific carrier proteins that span the membrane. A few drugs that closely resemble the structure of naturally occurring metabolites are actively transported across cell membranes using these specific carrier proteins. Energy-dependent active transport is driven by the hydrolysis of adenosine triphosphate. It is capable of moving drugs against a concentration gradient from a region of low drug concentration to one of higher drug concentration. The process shows saturation kinetics for the carrier, much in the same way that an enzyme-catalyzed reaction shows a maximal velocity at high substrate levels, where all the active sites are filled with substrate. Active transport systems are selective and they may be competitively inhibited by other co-transported substances. Note the difference. Endocytosis and exocytosis. These types of drug delivery systems transport drugs of exceptionally large size across the cell membrane. Endocytosis involves engulfment of a drug molecule by the cell membrane and transport into the cell.
by pinching off the drug-filled vesicle. Exocytosis is the reverse of endocytosis and is used by cells to secrete many substances by a similar vesicle formation process. Vitamin B12 is transported across the gut wall by endocytosis, whereas certain neurotransmitters, for example norepinephrine, are stored in intracellular membrane-bound vesicles in the nerve terminal and are released by exocytosis. Factors influencing absorption Effect of pH on drug absorption Most drugs are either weak acids or weak bases. Acid drugs HA release a proton H positive, causing the presence of a charged anion A negative. Weak bases BH positive can also release an H positive. However, the protonated form of basic drugs is usually charged, and loss of a proton produces the uncharged base B. Note the difference. A drug passes through membranes more readily if it is uncharged. Thus, for a weak acid, the uncharged protonated HA can permeate through membranes and A negative cannot. For a weak base, the uncharged form B penetrates through the cell membrane, but BH positive, the protonated form, does not. Therefore, the effective concentration of the permeable form of each drug at its absorption site is determined by the relative concentrations of the charged and uncharged forms. The ratio between the two forms is in turn determined by the pH at the site of absorption and by the strength of the weak acid or base, which is represented by the ionization constant pKa. Note that the pKa is a measure of the strength of the interaction of a compound with a proton. The lower the pKa of a drug, the more acidic it is. Conversely, the higher the pKa, the more basic is the drug. Distribution equilibrium is achieved when the permeable form of a drug achieves an equal concentration in all body water spaces. Note that highly lipid soluble drugs rapidly cross membranes and often enter tissues at a rate determined by blood flow. Blood flow to the absorption site. Because blood flow to the intestine is much greater than the flow to the stomach, absorption from the intestine is favored over that from the stomach. Note that shock severely reduces blood flow to cutaneous tissues, thereby minimizing the absorption from subcutaneous administration. Total surface area available for absorption. With a surface rich in brush borders containing microvilli, the intestine has a surface area about 1,000 fold that of the stomach, making absorption of the drug across the intestine more efficient. Contact time at the absorption surface. If a drug moves through the GI tract very quickly, as can happen with severe diarrhea, it is not well absorbed. Conversely, anything that delays the transport of the drug from the stomach to the intestine delays the rate of absorption of the drug. Note that the presence of food in the stomach both dilutes the drug and slows gastric emptying. Therefore, a drug taken with a meal is generally absorbed more slowly. Expression of B-glycoprotein P-glycoprotein is a multidrug transmembrane transporter protein responsible for transporting various molecules 
including drugs, across cell membranes. It is expressed throughout the body and its functions include in the liver, transporting drugs into bile for elimination, in kidneys, pumping drugs into urine for excretion, in the placenta, transporting drugs back into maternal blood, thereby reducing fatal exposure to drugs, in the intestines, transporting drugs into the intestinal lumen and reducing drug absorption into the blood, in the brain capillaries, pumping drug back into blood, limiting drug access to the brain. Thus, in areas of high expression, B glycoprotein reduces drug absorption. In addition to transporting many drugs out of the cells, it is also associated with multi drug resistance. Go back and review as needed, and please like if you found this video useful. And as usual, thanks for watching and happy studies!